Welcome to Brick Science. Today we're going to make a Lego Strand Beast. Let's do it. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Brick Science. My name is Riley. Today we're going to be making a Lego Strand Beast. It's like a weird kinetic sculpture that walks. This guy named Theo Jansen invented it. And it's like a kinetic sculpture that walks across the beach um, using wind. So here's one of the legs, a prototype of one of them. This part over here would represent the uh, drive shaft, which rotates, and then you have over here you can see the leg movement. It actually works better if we rotate that way. Basically, we'll have four, four or six of these um, on a on a creature. So when you roll it, it's actually going to walk. It's got like this really weird motion that is just so cool. And I don't. That guy's really smart. Theo Jansen is really smart because look at how cool that is. Anyway, this is the prototype. We're gonna make a couple more of these, attach them all together, and put a drive shaft on, and then when we roll it, it'll look like it's walking real weird across the table. So that's gonna be pretty cool. The first thing we gotta do is gather our pieces, and we'll get started. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we need five of them that look like this. So five of those, we need five of these, Two that are nine long and one that is eight long. Let, let's make five of these first, so we need. All right, so let's start making the legs and then we'll see if we can get it all assembled so it makes sense and actually runs. That looks kind of cool just like this when they fold in. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. It's going to be like a weird spider thing that's going to walk and it's just going to be like. Whoosh, whoosh. Yeah. Okay, so if we put this here and we kind of link these together with our fingers, this is the pivot point it's going to be on. So you can see if we spin this area in a circle here, we get this kind of walking motion. Actually, I can lift it up. I'm dumb. So if we have this on a on a on the drive shaft, then it will basically walk like that. So we just need to do the same thing on this one because um, apparently I did it wrong the first time. So there's that. So I think if we just do this once, it'll be easier to replicate the second and third time. But I just want to make sure we get the right rotation and stuff like that. Because um, how does this have to work? It has to have... Oh, yeah, because you know what we need? We need a... Uh... Well, you don't know what we need. That's what I'm telling you. Um, first of all, we need something better than that. So let's just add this piece. Bam. So this needs to have all the legs on it then. So this pin needs to be approximately longer. So we gotta be careful not to be too close to it or too far away. There's kind of a middle point we gotta connect these at. So what we need is then a, basically one of these. Nice, okay, so then, look at that. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna do four legs on each side. But now we know what we're gonna do, so it'll be a lot easier. So we gotta make those, and then we just gotta add them all together, so. Super fast time lapse. This is the most confusing project I've ever worked on. I don't know how many times I've had to take this apart. Like literally everything I do, I do it wrong and then I have to come back. It's like so frustrating. Oh my gosh, wrong again. Oh, 
All right, so exactly one hour and 30 minutes later, we have the first set of working legs. So basically, you can see what it looks like here. I'll move this out of the way. Uh, when you rotate this, it's on a drive shaft that has uh, little angles on it, if that makes sense. So you can see how that rotates. And I'm just, I'm just spinning this back here. So basically the plan is to connect the rest of the drive shaft like this. See, when we spin this, all of those are at different angles. So we're gonna have to make four sets of legs. So we need two more sets. And then this thing should walk, walk on along. We're just gonna use different colors for the other ones. So we'll do white and then gray and we'll just uh, see how it works. All right, fast forward two days. I'm not gonna show you how this works yet because I wanna finish it up, but it took about six or seven hours. Uh, I've been working on this, just trying different things. I, it was so difficult. Like what I thought was gonna work in the beginning just didn't. And so I've been here working on this, but I finally got it to run. Now all we have to do is add the shell on the outside and make it look cool. And then we'll be able to run it and test it, see how it works, so. There's a little preview. <laughs> Actually didn't mean to turn that on. All right, let's do it. All right, here's the grand reveal. Three, two, one. Give me one more minute. All right, guys, I just finished it. It's been about four days. Um, actually, I had to finish it today because yesterday I tried to finish it twice and it kept breaking. And the reason that was is because I just didn't have enough sturdiness on these legs, so I had to go in, replace some parts, and I actually had different plate variations, so the sides were going up and down and bending like this. But basically, in the end, here we go. Um, it's gonna walk forward, and here we go. And that is it. Look at that awesome walking motion there. It also goes backwards. I just switch this on before it goes off the table. Nice. And it doesn't break, which is super awesome. And if you can see, if I lift this up, you can see what the legs are doing. So if I actually turn this upside down, that's how the legs look. And so I actually have the ones in the middle alternating with the ones on the sides. So now if I turn this to on forward, that's what it does. So it's pretty cool. This thing here is just a counterweight. If you stop going. This thing here is just a counterweight, just to kind of counter the weight of the battery because I didn't have a long enough wire to put it in the middle. And then I got this piece here that we built, and that's just kind of for design, just for looks, you know, make it look a little scarier. But it's pretty cool. I have a little gear ratio going on on this side. This is a small gear in the motor, and so that turns fast, and then this will turn slower because the small gear has to rotate a lot to go around the big gear. So if you can see how that works. See how fast the, the small gear is rotating? So now, so yeah, it just walks just like that. It's pretty cool. Um, I actually have little rubber tires on some of the some of the legs, uh, so it has traction. Not the middle legs though, because sometimes those two legs interact on the outside with the middle legs, and they'll end up pushing towards each other, and then it just lifts up and kind of crunches. So, but yeah, this was it. This was super fun to create. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you comment down below and subscribe, and try building something like this by yourself. You know, it wasn't too hard. It was a little difficult just because I didn't know what I was doing. But hopefully, this video helped you understand the art of the strand beast a little more you guys can make this on your own you don't even have to have a motor just make a smaller one with lego and just you know have a little have a little crank on the side do something cool with it like that but thank you guys so much for watching please click that like button and subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future uploads and i'll talk to you on the next brick science